An ambitious project initiated by China aims to improve global connectivity and foster international trade. This initiative has a broad scope, influencing numerous sectors across more than 80 countries and regions. The Third Belt and Road Forum for International Cooperation, or BRF, serves as a testament to China's commitment to global openness and foreign investment. With over 1,200 attendees, including international representatives and entrepreneurs, the forum underscores the significant role that the BRI plays on the global stage. And this year, a significant development has been announced. The highlight of the forum was the announcement of eight major steps to enhance the Belt and Road Initiative. These steps are set to shape the future direction of the BRI, opening new avenues for cooperation and development. Firstly, there's a renewed commitment to opening up, inviting more international collaboration. Secondly, there's a focus on green development, aligning with global calls for a sustainable future. Thirdly, the BRI is embracing the digital economy, highlighting the importance of technology in today's world. The fourth step is about deepening connectivity cooperation, strengthening the ties that bind the BRI nations together. The fifth step is the emphasis on modern agriculture, acknowledging the need for sustainable food production. The sixth step involves biomedicine, a field with immense potential for improving global health. The seventh step is the exploration of financial services, a crucial sector for economic growth. Lastly, the eighth step involves the signing of intergovernmental agreements, cementing the commitment of participating nations to the BRI. Each of these steps carries immense potential and deserves a closer look. The first four steps are designed to deepen connectivity cooperation and promote green development. The initial step focuses on deepening connectivity cooperation. This is all about fostering strong, sustainable relationships between nations, encouraging mutual growth and development. Imagine a global network where each country is a node and the connections between them are the lanes of commerce, ideas, and culture. The second step is an extension of this idea aiming to promote modern agriculture. This is about more than just farming. It's about revolutionizing the way we produce and distribute food, making it more sustainable and efficient. It's about feeding the world and doing it in a way that benefits everyone involved. Step three dives into the realm of financial services. This sector is the lifeblood of the global economy. And this step aims to streamline and strengthen these services, making them more accessible and reliable. Step four takes us into the future, focusing on the promotion of green development. This is a commitment to sustainable practices, reducing our impact on the environment and ensuring our planet remains healthy for future generations. But that's not all. The next four steps are equally important. The remaining four steps focus on cooperating on the digital economy and attracting foreign investment. Step five is the initiation of the Beijing Declaration for Global Entrepreneurs. This is a call to deepen connectivity cooperation, promote green development, and cooperate on the digital economy. It's a rallying cry for businesses to join forces and push the boundaries of what's possible. Step six involves the enthusiasm of foreign representatives from Belt and Road Initiative participants. This step is a testament to the wide recognition and fruitful cooperation achievements of the initiative. It signals a clear endorsement of the BRI by the international community. Step seven is the attendance of companies from non-Belt and Road Initiative countries. This is a clear sign of the initiative's ability to draw interest from beyond its immediate sphere, highlighting the BRI's global appeal. Finally, step eight is the array of deals signed at the CEO conference. These agreements span various sectors, including artificial intelligence, biomedicine, modern agriculture, and financial services. They demonstrate foreign companies' confidence in BRI cooperation and the alignment of the initiative with global calls for common development. Together, these eight steps represent a new chapter in the BRI's development. So what does this mean for the future of the BRI and global cooperation? A decade into its development, the Belt and Road Initiative is poised to become a broader and more inclusive path for international collaboration.
The future trends of the BRI are leaning heavily into the green and digital sectors. This means we can expect to see a surge in environmentally conscious projects and advanced technological integration under the BRI umbrella. The significance of this shift cannot be overstated. By prioritizing green development, the BRI is setting a precedent for sustainable growth and responsible global power. Digital cooperation, on the other hand, is set to drive innovation and economic growth, bridging the digital divide between countries and fostering a more connected world. Let's not forget the intergovernmental agreements signed between China and Hungary and China and Chile during the forum. These agreements are pivotal, as they not only fortify the relationships between these nations, but also open doors to new avenues for cooperation. They signal an expansion of the BRI, showing its potential to foster partnerships beyond its traditional sphere. All in all, the Third Belt and Road Forum for International Cooperation has proven to be a watershed moment for the BRI. The eight steps announced at the forum reflect a commitment to global development, a push for sustainable practices, and a drive for digital connectivity. The eight steps announced at the BRF signify a broader and more inclusive road for global cooperation, highlighting the BRI as a beacon of hope in an ever-changing world. Thank you.